I just need to get some information from you. Are you with your grandmother now? Yes. Last December, Seminole County Fire Department dispatcher Jen Moriarty was on the phone with 11-year-old Elijah Alba as his grandmother, Denise, had a medical emergency. I was kind of nervous because I didn't, I was kind of confused on what to do at first. Does she have difficulty talking between breaths? Yeah, she's just breathing right now. She's sitting on the ground. Between Jen and Elijah, the call went as smooth as possible, as Elijah remained cool, calm, and collected, providing additional information until crews arrived on scene. Very impressive. Most adults don't even do that. The two meeting for the first time at Station 25 in honor of National Telecommunicators Week. Elijah honored for his smooth response. There's your real honorary firefighter badge. Jen, for the work she does every day, answering the calls of the community in the dispatch center. I know you're scared. We call our dispatchers our first first responders. Uh, we call them, affectionately call them here, our fifth battalion. We know this job is demanding, it's difficult. Uh, the role they play is, is absolutely critical behind the scenes. I love my job. I love what I do. I love coming to work every day. I love answering the phone calls. I like talking to the units over the radios. I love everything about it. I love being able to help people. People like Elijah and his grandmother. You did a really great job, okay? Let me know on the right with her. I'm there right here. I hung in there like a champ. You know, if it wasn't for him, I probably couldn't have spoke to them because I couldn't breathe. So, you know, thank God he was there. I wasn't babysitting him, he was babysitting me. <laughs>